Today I want to talk about Bokashi Worm Composting System. This is sort of a magical system where um, it, it actually accelerates your composting like four to five times from a typical uh, composting system. It might take three, four months in a regular system. Bokashi Worm co Composting can be done in two to three weeks. It's very affordable because it, you're basically just using two buckets. You need some Bokashi brand, you need a source of uh, regular food scraps, um, you need some water, and then you also, it would accelerate it greatly if you were to get some red wiggler worms. You put them all together in this concoction, and we'll show you how to do it, and it'll accelerate your compost two to three weeks. So how does Bokashi Bran accelerate the composting system? Bokashi Bran is actually a mixture of bran molasses for fuel, um, as well as effective microorganisms, bacteria and yeast. Um, so these, um, this mixture uh, fuels and feeds these microorganisms that break down the composting system a lot faster than just the natural system. You're actually bringing your busing in workers. Natural compost has um, bacteria in it, etc. You're actually busing in um, workers that are well paid and well trained to come in and help the locals clean up that job. It's like a, you know, um, like a tiny microscopic uh, community effort in there. Okay, so how to build the Bokashi worm system? It's really kind of simple. Uh, you basically need two five-gallon buckets, plastic five-gallon buckets, um, and then a brick as a spacer between them. You're going to put the one bucket inside the other. One bucket's going to be left whole because that's going to the outer bucket's going to capture the liquid and, and uh, etc. that coming off of the um, coming off the compost. Um, so a brick is a good spacer. As you put the second bucket in, the second bucket is going to have holes in it to allow the fluid to come out. Um, you would need then some sort of filter membrane on the bottom so that the dirt doesn't come out of the holes based on how big the holes are that you drill. Um, and then you would need at the top, you know, you're going to be filling this bucket with the Bokashi brand and food scraps, etc. But at the top you need some sort of membrane cut out to about the diameter of the top of the bucket to seal it. Then you need a lid that'll seal, a complete lid um, seal, and that's pretty much how to build the, uh, the system. It's that simple. So to fill the buckets, um, it's kind of like making a lasagna. Um, you want to, you know, you have your inner bucket, and you want to make sure that you have uh, your your fabric, uh, your filter lining, something that's porous that you know the water can go through. So then you're making a lasagna. You start with a Bokashi brand. You put a layer, maybe a half inch or an inch of Bokashi brand. Then you do a layer of your food scraps. You can include meat and um, fats in the Bokashi system. Um, and if you're worried about odor, odor, which is a reasonable worry in that, um, it actually will keep it, if you do it correctly, it will keep it down to just a, a, a foul, uh, not foul, a faint um, sour smell, um, but not the bad. If, if it does start really smelling, then you need to add more Bokashi brand and you know, rework the system. So, um, so to fill it, you start with the Bokashi system, then you, you do a layer, I mean, Bokashi brand, you do a layer of food scrap, another layer, 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 layer until you get to the top. Finish with Bokashi brand at the top. You want to completely coat like a pork, breaded pork chop. You want to completely coat everything with the Bokashi brand. Um, and then you seal the lid and it begins the process. Okay, so after you've filled it and you've sealed the lid, magic starts happening, two to three weeks, you're gonna to have to observe it and make sure that everything's working out in there. Um, so there's a couple of points that you want to observe. One is moisture, the moisture of the soil is very important. Can't be too dry, can't be too wet, so you're looking just like at a moist uh, you know, level uh, in there. Um, so if, if not, if it's too dry, you wanna add some water. If it's too wet, you might wanna let it air out. Uh, Bit, and then you might have to restart the process. Um, also, odor, you wanna check that out. That's not something you're gonna be like, hmm, let me go check the odor. You're gonna know if it's bad. Um, when you're close to it, it should have a, a somewhat of a smell, foul smell, but it should, 
a, a sour smell. Shouldn't be a foul smell though. So also you want to, um, you know, you want to check on your little red wiggler worms in there and see if there's a lot of activity. If they're all like laying still, then eh, maybe they died, you know? So things like that, it's good to check out. You know, if you see them and they're going to run from you because they run from the light. So, uh, but if you see them moving around, then things are probably okay. You'll know if the smell is bad, then probably other problems are happening, including with the worms. Okay, so finally, you, it's, it's been two to three weeks. Your compost looks good, it smells good, everything's good. Time to get out in the garden and apply it to the soil. Um, so uh, you want to, you know, ahead of time prepare the soil, make sure that it's clear and everything, it's ready to go. Then you're adding in your uh, Bokashi, your mature Bokashi worm compost. You're also starting a new batch for two to three weeks from now, which you can add, you can continuously do that. Or if you had multiple batches, you could layer, you know, etc., and get a really good flow going. You want to work it into the soil because that the, you're spreading those microorganisms organisms around who are then colonizing the rest of the other soil that you've just added it to. So you're sort of spreading the wealth around literally. You also want to water the garden and water the compost as you as you mix it into the soil. You want to just continue to apply to the soil all season to maximize your fertility and maximize uh, the yield that you're going to get from your beautiful garden.